How's it going? I uh, just wanted to walk you through setting up Super Whisper. Consider this a quick start. Um, so let's open up the website and go ahead and download the app and open the DMG that is downloaded. Um, we can then drag it over into our applications folder uh, and boom, there we go, it's installed. At this point, you can right click on the drive and eject it. Um, we can then go into Spotlight or Finder, open up applications and double click on the app to start it up. It's gonna hit you with this little prompt. Um, this is just because I'm distributing it directly rather than on the app store. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and hit open. Um, the application is gonna put you through a quick onboarding process. So this screen is just to get your accessibility settings enabled. Um, just hit the button and then the toggle to turn it on, provide your password and you're good to go. Close the accessibility screen and hit continue. Um, select your language. For me, that's gonna be English. Um, the app's gonna recommend you a model to download. Um, I've already got mine downloaded and installed, but um, I'll, uh, here, let me delete it. And so yeah, it'll just bump you through a download process here. Um, you can hit continue and let this download in the background, but I'd recommend just waiting around and making sure it does get installed. Um, you can of course select a different model from that uh, selection box here. There's lots of options. Um, anyway, uh, we can continue. Uh, another little widget here, just to make sure that you have the correct audio device installed. For me, I pretty much just use the system default all the time and that, that works great for me. Um, uh, also a really important point here, go through to your input volume and make sure that it's up high enough. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes people make with setup is they have their input volume way down here and it doesn't work well because Super Whisper can't hear you. Pull it up. Okay, uh, going next. So recording permission uh, for obvious reasons, we have to have that granted. So just hit the button, a dialog box may come up uh, and if so, just uh, hit okay. Um, so yeah, it's gonna walk you through your first recording. Um, to do that, you're gonna hit option spacebar um, to start it. Uh, when you do that, this uh, this window is going to come up, and it's going to show a waveform of your voice. If you if you set your input volume correctly, this should be moving quite a bit, uh, as you can see on my screen here. Um, and now we can just hit it again to stop the recording, um, and you'll see the onboarding uh, dialog is following along here with us, and we can see our text here. You can hit Escape to close the window, um, and uh, it's going to direct us through to opening settings. So we can click on the uh, menu bar icon and open settings. Um, again, the onboarding uh, window is gonna follow along here. If you wanna join us in the Discord, there's lots of people talking about how to use the application, uh, common pitfalls, um, prompt hacking, different configurations. Uh, I'm in there every day. So yeah, if you have issues or you get stuck, uh, it's the fastest way to reach me and and, uh, and, and get support. Um, so yeah, uh, with that, uh, there's also an email here for, for support if you prefer. Um, yeah, with that, we can hit done onboarding uh, and we're fully set up. We got settings open now uh, and you can see we're popped directly into our um, our modes panel. Uh, so this is the default mode that was set up. Um, and this is basically going to just take our voice and turn it directly into text. Um, so, you know, uh, for example here, let me fire up a new note. Um, we can just do, uh, hey, congratulations on getting all the way through the onboarding. Um, and that's just gonna paste directly into notes. Um, there's tons of options though that you can configure here with Super Whisper. Um, they are going to be linked in a separate set of videos um, on how to configure your different modes. Uh, there's lots of options here, a lot of pre-configures in this create a mode section. I won't dive into that in this video just because it goes quite deep. Um, you can see all the AI models here. So um, these are the voice models and they basically take your voice and turn it into text. These are the language models, which take that text and translate that into any format you'd like. So may that be uh, the way that you write messages, your emails, notes, uh, I've, I use it for code, um, and, or you can just have it do standard grammar and spelling fixes. Um, Here's a configuration panel. There's a show advanced features option here at the bottom that'll present to you the full set of features. Um, these are really the required ones. Most commonly people are coming in here to customize their recording shortcuts. Um, I like the defaults, so that's what I use, but um, yeah, you're free to change them to whatever you like. Um, text replacements. So these are really handy. You can replace uh, any description or, or any output text that uh, the model is recognizing incorrectly. For me, this is my last name. Uh, so the model often gives me uh, L-Y instead of uh, L-E-I-G-H on my last name. Uh, and it'll even do Chudley. So just correct those. In addition, um, this sort of uh, really helpful way that, uh, it's, a, it's a documented up here, but I do link calendar um, and just, you know, uh, cal.com slash meal 
uh, 15 or whatever your calendar link is. And th then the way you can use that is, um, you know, you can pop open, I have notes open. Um, hey, Neil Chudley here. Uh, would you like to meet up later today? Um, find some time on my calendar, link calendar. Um, and then, yeah, so you can see, uh, oh, <laughs> so there's another misspelling of my last name. But yeah, this is sort of the process of just making sure that the model is aware of uh, you and how you spell things. Um, but yeah, you see it popped in my my uh, my link there, which is pretty handy. Um, you know, you can also fill that with like a message template if you're sending out the same content a lot, uh, but you want it augmented. Um, uh, you can go in here to activate your license if you buy Pro. Um, and uh, yeah, this is an about page that has a link to, to various other settings. Um, we can also open up history here and we can see um, the, uh, the recordings uh, that we have. Uh, you can delete um, by right clicking on any of these in the sidebar. Uh, you can copy the text uh, to clipboard with this button. You can open up the folder in which the recording is stored. So this will have the, uh, all the files that comprise the uh, recording. Um, and you can see, uh, you know, uh, metadata or details on the recording as well. Um, yeah, uh, you can also open history from the menu bar up here uh, and check for updates. Um, or if you prefer to use start stop uh, from from the menu bar, it also works from there as well. Um, I think that's it. Uh, it's a nice quick uh, overview of the application. Um, yeah, uh, as I mentioned before, if you run into trouble, hit me up on Twitter, Discord, or via email. I'm pretty quick to respond, usually about 24 hours max. So uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, have a good day.